In today's video, I will go over most quests in Escalation. I should cover the majority, but if I miss any, please let me know in the comment section below and I will respond to you in the comments or make a part 2. Make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. Also, subscribe to not miss any future videos. Last video is Mythical Giveaway Winners Show now, and today we're going through another one, which is a musical Skull Bandana. To win this, make sure that you've liked, subscribed, and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. In this map, there are a lot of mini quests, which I am actually a fan of. The first quest we are going to go over is Hair Loss, where for this, you would need to go to Parkwood and head over to the fire station and the quest can be finished there. Next, let's go over to Power Up. For this, you would need duct tape, ingots, and circuit boards. You can find these items very easily, either fish them all out with a high tier fishing rod, and this quest is very important for unlocking the gunsmith workshop and also the electronics room, where you can purchase and sell weapons and electronics. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further, because I got the best option for you, which is Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is very easy to learn, the notification is super user friendly and not hard at all to master. Servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago, I had no clue how to do anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from including Rust, Ark and also Minecraft. A game changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also if you have a server with another provider you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LDG for 30% off and let's get straight back into the action. Next, let's go over to Handyman. For this quest, you require a toolbox which you craft and afterwards you would unlock a new quest where you would need to craft two wooden chairs. Next, let's go over to Reserve Shooter which is a repeatable quest. Each time you get an oof bird, you will get a random attachment. The armor piercing quest, you need chemicals which you can find in construction areas or you can also fish them out. Relax for a minute, quest is quite self-explanatory, you just don't do anything for a minute. The fishing quest comes in three stages. Firstly, you would need a normal rod and fish out chum. With chum, you can upgrade your rod. Obviously, the higher the rod, the better the loot you will fish out. Sometimes chum may be a bit annoying to fish out though, but one trick that I found is that I used a low tier rod to just get chum. Guard's RC car can be found in Parkward over here. The getting wood quest is very easy. You just need to chop down five small trees. They are very easy to spot, stack the logs into a stackable item. The dead drop quest is also very easy. In most locations, you can go to a dumpster and sell items there, including weapons and attachments. Arthur just needs a cobalt, which is a police item spawn. Hunting season is just hunting down a raccoon. Afterwards, you would need to hunt down a moose and finally a bear. All of these are found in the wilderness. The quest where you're asked for five strawberries is easy. Just go to Vernon Farm because the spawn is very high over there. Harvesting plants comes in various stages. Just gotta keep harvesting crops. Next, let's go over to the fixing radio quest. For this, you need to go to the top with a circuit board. Afterwards, you will get the bomb mission where you would need to cut the wires in the order of red, green, blue. Firstly, you can go to Red Grove Airfield. For this quest, you do need pliers though. Pliers can be found in construction areas and also civilian areas. After Afterwards, there is an unmarked ranger location underneath Parkwood and the final one is at Vernon Farm. Make sure that you always cut the wires in the order of red, green, blue. Always run away just in case you are too close because it will blow up. Next, let's go over to the quest where you need to find criminal evidence, which this can be found in the underground police station at Parkwood. The burning of classified information are found at TKR Industrial and the barracks as shown in the video right now. The second one is in Log Dynamics at the sealed room and the final one is in Fort Martin in the mechanical area. The potion of regeneration quest is found at Red Grove Airfield. The explosive charges quest can be placed at Red Grove Airfield, another one at Everett and finally at Walk-In on the roof. After this you do a horde beacon at TKR Industrial. I recommend obviously being prepared for this and the environment well enough such as those explosive flame pipes and these will help you finish the quest easier and faster. And finally the quest where you would need to meet someone is at the top of the safe zone and after this you would unlock a shop which you can sell explosives to. And that is it guys that is mainly the most important quest that I have found. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions feel free to ask below. If I missed quest let me know and I will do a part 2 and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.